Today we'll be making a mixed berry bramble. This one I've made with fresh fruit and I've done a mix of strawberries and blueberries and holy heck, I don't think I'm ever going back to the original version because this is a fruit explosion. Ruthie's excited, I'm excited. It's just got so much berry flavor. It's a little bit tart. Um, it just goes down so smoothly. And this is truly one of the most delicious variations of a classic that I've ever made. Be right back while I crush this whole thing. A classic bramble calls for blackberry liqueur. And since we're making these at home, you might not have that. So I just thought, Use whatever berry you have at home. In this case, I'm actually using strawberries and blueberries. Um, so we decided to go fresh instead of a liqueur. Equally delicious, perhaps even more delicious. You can make yourself a simple syrup, super simple, just equal parts hot water and, and white sugar. In this case, quarter cup of each and just stir to dissolve. That's about it. Uh, I squeezed some fresh lemon juice uh, ahead of time. Fresh citrus is always the way to go. And finally, your spirit of choice. Uh, the classic calls for gin, so that's what I'm using, but you can use whiskey, you know, bourbon or rye, tequila, pisco. Equally delicious, just depending on whatever you prefer. Hop on the couch and let's whip one up. First, we're gonna start with our simple syrup. I'm doing one ounce. And now we're gonna wanna infuse the berries into the syrup. Whatever berries you're using, blackberries, you know, I'm using a mix of strawberries and blueberries. So I'm just gonna toss those in, leave a few for garnish. Now you're gonna want a muddler or the back of a wooden spoon so you can really infuse the berries that get all that gorgeous flavor into the syrup. So, use some muscle. Hi, Ruthie. <laughs> Give it a good muddle for like 30 seconds, a minute. Just when you think you've muddled it enough, give it a touch extra. And you can see with the color too, the, the syrup is just turning a gorgeous, dark, dark purple in this case. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. Once you've muddled it to your satisfaction, <laughs> next we'll add three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Fresh citrus is always the way to go. And finally, your spirit of choice. I'm going ounce and a half of gin. Got ice in my tin, give it a shake. Ooh, what's this? Gorgeous purple color. So I've got a short glass filled with ice. I'm gonna use a fine strainer to catch all the berry goodness. We don't want chunks in this one. Oh my gosh. There we go. And then just tap it to get all the liquid in there. Wow, so pretty. And then, yeah, for this one, just gonna toss on top a fresh strawberry and a few of our blueberries. Now that's a mixed berry bramble. Cheers. It's a fruit explosion. <laughs> 